Welcome to Drop It Media. Please like, subscribe, and turn on the bell icon to get notified each time we drop new videos. Moments after besties turned frenemies, that is, Bob Risky and turned to DK. Bob Risky publicly declares that there is no st such thing as besties. He said, no bestie anywhere. Do you agree with the words from Bob Risky? Please let us know in the comment section below. Well, Bob Risky declares this after fallout between the former bestie, Tone to DK, following the cold war via Instagram between crossdresser Bob Risky and his former bestie, Tone to DK. Bob has declared that there is no such thing as best friend in the world. After going through such phase in our, all his life, Bob Risky declares that there is no such friend, uh, there is no such thing as best friend in the world. Bob Risky and Tonto had a major clash after the latter finally revealed that she is in love again with Prince Popokogri. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Forgive me for that. Not knowing what ensued between the duo, Bob Risky took to his Instagram page to warn his followers to stay away from making anyone their best friend. He wrote, The moment you hear, Ha! Oh my God, we love you, but God love you more, my sister. You are on your own, oh. So start learning to be on your own now that you are still alive. No bestie, close friend, anywhere. Do you and leave the rest. So what do you think this is going to um, turn out to be in the future for Bob Brisky and turn to DK? Do you think that they're going to settle or they're going to continue or remain like this forever? Like if you look at um, the celebrities, quarries here and there, that they Stella Demacocos and turn to DK who recently reconciled. Are you seeing any um, place in the future that Bob Risky and Toto Dinke are going to reconcile? And do you know what happened between these two celebrities? If you think you do, or if you have an answer to this question, I'd like to hear from you in the comment section below. What is happening to David is very spiritual. If you're a 30 BG fan, you need to get on your knees. Let me repeat that. Get on your fucking knees and begin to pray. Many of you eh, were religious, eh, were spiritual, eh, badura, eh, G, eh, dash out, eh, dash in. Eh, by going to dying. If you're a 30 BG fan, get on your fucking knees and start praying for that label and for Davido. Okay? Many people around Davido have died. Okay? Me care about your conspiracy theories. Alone, let me care about it. I'm an evangelist. So we're going to mix medical and evangelism together. All right, a young man that's so successful. It's as quanta now. It's as soon it's a. Kibo gorele ma shelesi. Eh, mo bo shema affecting you psychologically. Psychologically, his friend Tagbo died. DJ Olu, his DJ died. Chime, the friend of DJ Olu, associate of Davido, died. Taj, Taju died, his bodyguard. Okay? Now, the death of Davido's aide, Obama DMW, is spiritual. Well, I didn't say this. These are from the words or the mouth of Kemi Olulonyo. The investigative journalist, Kemi Olulonyo weighs in on the death of an associate of David Doe as she claims that it is spiritually influenced. According to the controversial journalist, the death of Obama DMW that happened recently had to do with their boss, that is David Doe, as this is not the first time or the second time of experiencing such loss. Adding to her point, Kemi Olunoyo stated that the 30 BG crew members are not prayerful enough as she lists the number of close associates slash friends of Davido who have died from different circumstances. Kemi added that such loss is not an opportunity for trolls to attack the singer or throw tantrums at the dead. Well, um, guys, what do you make up of this from Kemi Olunoyo? Do you think she's blabbing or she's trying to, like, um get attention here and there. I, I really do not know what to say, but if you think Kemi Olunoyo is right, please let me know in the comment section below as these words are really, really strong words of allegation. And uh, do you know she can be sued for this? Well, let me hear your thoughts in the comment section below. And for you to get the full clip of this video from Kemi Olunoyo, please watch till the end of this video. I know so many of you will not like this video, but I need to do it this morning you see why we are shouting about you people taking care of your health know the situation of your body go to the hospital do medical checkup just to know the situation of your body all these people every day you smoke you smoke this smoke that 
you drink you over you drink anyhow at the end of the day it is your body that everything tells on i'm not telling you that i'm a perfect human being but i'm just telling you that we should all take care of our head young people are dying you will you they smoke smoke for your house high damn smoke what do you then courage? Eh? Young people, they die. Still on the news, reacting to Obama BMW death in emotional video, Daddy Shoki reacts to his death and says, um, take care of your heads. The veteran Nigerian singer Daddy Shoki has joined numerous celebrities to react to the death of Davido's close aide, Obama DMW. The music star shared an emotional video on his Instagram page where he spoke to fans on his important, on the importance of taking care of their health and bodies. Shoki advised people not to overdo things such as smoking and drinking because it would tell on their bodies eventually. Shoki, like many other Nigerian celebrities, has mourned the death of top singer David O's associate Obama DMW. Taking to his verified Instagram page, the singer used Obama's death as an opportunity to send a message to his fans on the importance of working out and taking care of their bodies. In an emotional video shared on his page, Shoki said it was important for people to know the situation of their bodies, know the state of their health and do medical checks at the hospital. Speaking further, the music star said some people were fond of smoking and drinking different things every day even when it would all fell on their bodies eventually. Shoki lamented the rate at which young people were dying in recent times and lambasted those who made a public show of smoking and drinking. According to him, they were encouraging others to do the same. In his words, he said, You see why we are shouting about you people taking care of your heads? Know the situation of your body. Go to the hospital. Do medical checkup just to know the situation of your body. All these people every day you smoke this, smoke that, you drink any anyhow. At the end of the day, it's your body, everything tells on. I think that is true. Well, um, well, a lot of fans also reacted to Shoki's message. Um, some agreed with him and some made use of the opportunity to like um, shut him up for saying this at a very emotional period. Well, what do you think is the right thing to do? Let me know in the comment section below. And for those of you who watched this hand to watch the full video clip from Kemi Olunoyo, well, the next video you're gonna be seeing is from Kemi Olunoyo. And make sure to subscribe to this channel, ring on the not bell notification to stay updated each time we drop new videos. Don't forget to take care of your heads out there. Thank you. Dr. Kemi Olunoyo, I'm a doctor of pharmacy. The reason I'm telling you this morning is different. You already know, and I tell you all the time. We're talking about Obama, DMW44. I don't know him personally. I've never spoken to him or reached out to him. But he's a Davido Associates. And if you know Davido, Davido is a popular Nigerian-American artist. In fact, it's American-Nigerian because Davido is American. Now, David is a child that I watched when he was a baby. He may not know me as an adult, but I was his mother's friend in America. What is happening to David is very spiritual. If you're a 30 BG fan, you need to get on your knees. Let me repeat that. Get on your fucking knees and begin to pray. Many of you, eh, were religious, eh, were spiritual, eh, badura, eh, g, eh, dash out, eh, dash in, eh, by going to dying. If you're a 30 BG fan, get on your fucking knees and start praying. For that label and for Davido, okay? Many people around Davido have died, okay? Me care about your conspiracy theories. Alone, let me care about it. I'm an evangelist. So we're going to mix medical and evangelism together, all right? A young man that's so successful. It's as quanta now. It's as soon. It's a. Kibo gorele ma shelesi. Eh, mo bo shema affecting you psychologically. Psychologically, his friend Tagbo died. DJ Olu, his DJ died. Chime, the friend of DJ Olu, associate of Davido, died. Taj, Taju, died, his bodyguard. Okay? All right. Aloma DMW was his former PA. You know I interviewed Aloma last month. The new PA, manager, road manager, call it what? Okay? 
Obama DMW died. Let's give Obama its title. I don't know his exact title, but from what I'm seeing, he was a road manager and a PA. Now look at the word, the words I used. His, his DJ, his bodyguard, his road manager, his friend, his associate. What, five people have died now in Davido's team. You better start praying. And if you're not a DMW fan or you're not a 30BG fan, you know what Davido did to me? He's never apologized, but I forgave him. He's like a child to me. You know, I reported that he and Shoma were having a fight in 2018. That led to, oh, they've broken up. That led to, oh, lady, all oh, your pussy, you're a liar, cheap drug user. Book boy, I'm going to back be. A fit in silly. It's a lot more. In the 30th of June, 2021. Mo, why didn't you try a Woodbury? That's a 4 o'clock, 10 a.m. American time. I'll be Chicago time. You know, I'm going to be covering that. Obama was alive this time yesterday now. Uh uh. At least this time yesterday. He had, you know, chest pains, difficulty breathing, and he rushed himself to the hospital. He drove himself to the hospital. 24 hours later, he's not here. He's going to be late to rest. Okay? Do you remember that commissioner? The commissioner in where Joss, the woman that left in the morning and traveling back to Joss. And by one o'clock when she got to Joss, she was late to rest. Someone that left in the morning. Why? Because she had a car accident. You can be here today. You can be gone tomorrow. Call on forum care. Obama, DMW. Call on forum care. And you tell Burain, Lord, social media. People did not know Obama. They did not post on his post. They did not come in. Now they're doing RIP. Moti Sonye a long time ago. Those of you that hate me, you will come back to my page and put RIP on the day I die. You know, that's how life is. His followers will increase, you know. But at the end of the day, I want you all to get on your fucking knees and pray for DMW 30BG. All right, whether you're a fan or not. Yeah, Obama, Loman Buis kid, go now. Oh, Loman, Loman taunt Wiz Kid. He taunted Wiz Kid a lot. He yapped Wiz Kid a lot. Okay? I don't know what's going on in Twitter because Twitter is blocked in Nigeria and I don't want to log in via VPN. That's never going to happen to me. I don't have an audience there. But I can imagine what's going on in Twitter now. All you Wiz Kid FC, don't use that to start yapping the dead. Okay? Well, I'm a fan of yapping the dead, basically, because I don't like Osama Bin Laden. I don't like Shekau. And I don't like certain dead people. But at the end of the day, I'm going to tell you this way. Don't use this opportunity to yap the guy. Because Whiskey FC, this is not the time. Okay? We all make mistakes. We all do things. Shem Kuti has been yapping Whiskey FC for a long time. Something happens to Shem tomorrow. Whiskey FC, they're going to get on it. God forbid. Shem will be alive and well. Now, pray for Davido. Okay? Let's turn this into evangelism. You're going to pray for Davido because Davido is psychologically affected. He can't keep mourning people. Uh-uh. I'm mourning this, I'm mourning that. He hasn't talked. By the time he posts, he's going to post something. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm devastated. You don't know what this boy is going through inside now. Uh -uh. Second thing, many of you have messaged me, all right? It's like I try to mind my business, but I can't mind my business. I'm a journalist, okay, and a good one, and the top one in Africa. Congestive heart failure, heart failure, heart attack. I posted something so that all of you can look at it, okay? All of you can look at it and know the difference between a heart attack, heart failure, a cardiac arrest, and a stroke. They're all related. It starts with the heart. This thing right here, boom, 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 boom. When the heart, okay, continues beating and your brain is dead, it happened to my brother, 17-year-old Oyeleke Olunlayo. A car hit five of them at a traffic light in UK. Okay, some people were amputated, some people were injured. My brother was brain dead. His brain was gone. It was like an egg. The stem of the brain broke. So the brain was dead. Nothing's happening in the brain anymore. But his heart was working, so we had to donate things, right? That's what usually they do. Donate heart, donate kidney. Everything down here was working. So you need to know how the human body works. It's a doctor of pharmacy, a clinical pharmacist. There are different things that happen in the heart, and I'm going to tell you real briefly, Okay. Anything and everything could have caused Obama DMW's death, okay? I'm not saying this is what caused it. I'm not his physician. I'm not the autopsy. I'm not the mortuary guy. But this could have happened, all right? When you look at somebody's lifestyle, 
you can figure some things in their life, okay? If you see me sitting down smoking cigarettes every day, and they said I died of lung cancer, you can figure out that's what killed me. I smoked a lot of cigarettes, okay? Well, by my TMW, I was very young, but I can tell you right now that um, heart failure is caused by a variety of reasons, okay? Whenever you're talking about heart, it's connected to the lungs. We have something they call the heart-lung machine that pumps blood through the heart and the lungs. Anything that affects the heart is going to affect the lungs. Anything that messes up the lungs is going straight to the heart. So the first sign is difficulty breathing. When he went into the hospital and drove himself to the hospital, it's important. This is not a criminal investigation, not I think of. But it's important to actually, within the circles of DMW and the people that knew him, where was he coming from? Who was he with? What did he consume? Did he eat something? Did he drink something? What was in the stuff he ate? You know, in Nigeria today, there's all these um, theories about poison, poison, poison. I don't eat outside anymore, unless I'm seeing the person serving me. Last week I ate outside was Tony Lawa and his wedding. When I said yeah, eat outside, I'm not talking about uh, mommy Mary in Bay, you know, the woman that sells me while going outside my window here. Not that, okay? I'm talking about places where you're specifically poisoned, okay? Places where they know you're gonna eat, they're gonna, you know, you have to be careful with this kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, me, I don't sugarcoat quote everything, I'll tell you how it is. At the end of the day, they have to find out what he consumed before, okay? When he felt the breathing problems, okay? he automatically drove himself to the hospital. Some of these things don't happen right away, all right? It may be accumulating in your body, all right? Is Obama a smoker? Is he a drinker? These guys were club guys. There were music artists and tourages. More, more than likely, I mean, they had a video now, Risky, and they had balloons with some kind of drug they call Risky blowing and all that stuff. Did he have a history of drug use, alcohol use, um, smoking, everything, marijuana, cigarettes, blah, blah, blah. All these things contribute to a bad heart, okay? When the heart is surrounded by plaque, okay, plaque is like something in the area of, how can I describe plaque now? Um, or raw fats, things like that. When it's around the heart, the heart becomes compromised. And it's like as if you put a nylon around the heart so oxygen can go through. The person starts to have breathing problems. So things like that accumulate according to time. So when you can't breathe properly, boom, you know, you can just have an episode like that. When Obama got to the hospital, question, was he nebulized and nebulized that they put it on him, he breathes oxygen, or they put a drug, a medication inside. Okay, did he have asthma? I'm an asthmatic. If I have asthma and it's bad, I don't have my inhaler. I have to drive myself to a chemist to get an inhaler if it's bad to a hospital. That's another thing we have to. Number two, did he have asthma? Okay, number one, did he have a history of smoking, um, using drugs, um, alcohol, anything? Two, asthma. Number three, COVID-19. Coronavirus, classic example of that. Look at the boy at the ATM. She we in Leroy Motu at the ATM now. The boy at the ATM when COVID started in 2020. He was there at the ATM trying to withdraw money. He just lost his breath. Before you know he collapsed, he died. COVID positive. The virus can actually give you that first. That's the first instance of the virus when it's bad. You can't breathe anymore. And those are the three things I would say. Either way, Komata, it'll never bring him back. Autopsy Komata. Obama DMW Ibitobawa. Call on for okay. Should he yeah? Call on for okay. Because you know, you have lived your life. Okay. I've gone through this before with my 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 brother. When he was 17. And he did the right thing. He crossed with five ladies at a red light for the driver, green light for the pedestrian. The driver was drunk, he didn't see any of them, just drove through them. So before you leave your house, you say your prayer. Psalm 1, I said Psalm 1, Psalm 91, okay? Psalm 91, when you leave your house, 23, when you come back. Evangelist Kemi, Dr. Kemi Olunlaya. Um, David, oh, my, condol my condolences to you, okay? The whole 30 BG team, DMW, just last week, Lori reels me. You guys look at my reel, the one of the DMW crowd arriving in Abuja. Ah, David, don't worry. Who would know 
that a week later, everything would be different. To those of you who are friends of Obama, I never knew him. Everybody in that team, you know, friends of the team, get on your knees. Like I said, get on your fucking knees and begin to worship this man above called God. Whether it's a man or a woman, because these tragedies are really, it's really killing people. It's, it's consuming all of us. I mean, you're losing me from way, but he was very young. Guys, be careful. Smoking, drinking, drugs, everything has to be minimal, okay? Because of this boy's death, I want to really get into the whole, this whole cardiac education in Nigeria. A lot of us are not doing that, okay? I'm Dr. Kemi Olunlaya. Today is the 30th of June, 2021 in Lagos, Nigeria. God bless you. Davido, stay strong.